Well, despite what you might have heard between Samsung and Apple, the case between them does not signify the end of Android smartphones. And here's evidence of just that. This is the latest flagship Android smartphone from Sony, the new Sony Xperia T. Let's take a closer look at what this phone has to offer. As with most smartphones, Sony claims all sorts of technical uh, wizardry is going on on this phone. So it's got your quad-core processor, it's got your HD screen, it's a 1280 by 720 screen, which is about the same as most of the other similar phones of this nature out there at the moment, although of course Sony says it's the best uh, of all of them. Uh, the screen is 4.6 inches, which isn't the smallest, isn't the largest screen we've seen, uh, but although I'm not a big fan myself of large screen phones, this feels like quite a comfortable phone to hold, it doesn't feel too large, uh, so more or less just about right I'd say. The basic design is nice without being particularly exciting, uh, it's got a nice curved rear uh, with a matte plastic finish which is nice to hold uh, and it's got the rounded corners which again is much nicer to hold than say the iPhone with its kind of slightly sharp uh, feeling which generally don't really like a great deal. Uh, but it's also got some interesting features around the cameras so Sony's claiming a new feature called sleep to snap which basically means if you hold down the camera, the dedicated camera button on the top, uh, it will take you straight to the camera mode really, really quickly. Uh, this is great, although not necessarily a brand new feature to smartphones as most of the manufacturers have something similar on all their phones now. Of course, being a flagship phone, it feels very sharp, very snappy. Uh, you're certainly not going to be hanging around waiting for stuff to happen on this phone. Uh, and coming back to the camera very quickly, it's got a 13 megapixel camera with an Exmor R sensor. We'll have to wait and see to see whether the photos are actually any good. I mean, 13 megapixels is kind of excessive for a mobile phone, uh, but as long as the photos are uh, decent, it doesn't really matter what the resolution is. Uh, we'll certainly be testing that when we get it to our lab. So that's our quick look at the Sony Xperia T Android smartphone. And if you did need another reason to consider buying this phone, it's also going to be James Bond's brand new phone in the upcoming film Skyfall. In the meantime, click on the link below for more coverage from E for 2012 from Sony and all the other major brands. We'll see you soon.